Hey, how's it going? I'm Ira Golden and welcome to my vlog. All right, okay. So this is going to be my roundup of August. I'm actually filming this on the second to last day of August, but it's gonna come out in the first week of September. So <laughs> might as well do it now, there's no point. It, it, it still fits the pattern, it still fits the pattern. Um, so August has been a very different month from the previous ones. Um, obviously the, the two big things that have happened in August is that the Dollmaker Sun books were finally released and they had a fairly successful um, free book promo to begin with, um, with both of them I think outperforming, uh, they both definitely outperformed The Colours I See's last one. I think, um, I think Welcome to Mary's Bell hit the same number as uh, the Colours I See's best one. Um, but yeah, they, they both had a really successful opening uh, promo, which is which is great. Um, Broken For You has, uh, has had a couple of reviews. Um, Welcome to Mary's Bell still waiting for its first, but yeah, no, all in all, not not too bad a start for, for both of the books. Um, of course, <laughs> because I see it's still up for me everything. <laughs> because the colours I see is the best. Um, it, 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 I, I don't know. I don't know what the colours I see gets right um, most of the time, but it just seems it just seems to be my best performer. Um, but I have taken a few steps to try and hopefully get a little bit more uh, attention to some of the others, um, specifically to Echo and to Broken Before Use, because but obviously Broken Before Use is the, uh, the first of those two books. Um, so I know Echo is, is, has gone on to the next step with that, and hopefully I'll start to see a bit of a turnaround with that um, soon. Um, and I'm still waiting to hear back for both the, the one that I've gone for for both and for use. Um, yeah, it, it's one of those sort of situations where it's like, okay, that's, I, one of the things I've said that I need to do is I need to start uh, being a little bit better at promoting things, which means actually promoting things. <laughs> um, and so sort of going forward and, and seeing where things go from here. On that note, Colours I See will be free from the 5th of September to the 9th of September. I actually have an outline for the plan for all the promos are going to happen from now until the end of the year. Um, the exception being the release one for No Doors Allowed. Um, I'm hoping to get No Doors Allowed released for the end of December. Um, but we'll probably do its free book promo in the beginning of January and run it just ahead of doing one, another one for The Colours I See because that will align with them. The Colours I See can get its next free book one as well. So I'm like, you know what, that that seems like a good pairing for January and I'm getting to the point now because it's like a, it's a, it's a 90 day cycle for KDP Select. So because it is like that 90 day cycle, um, that, that I'm never going to sort of quite get to a point of being able to sort of like that there is going to be a lot of crossover there's going to have to be a lot of crossover um it's just a matter of keeping on top of it planning it out making sure that the books that are crossing over into the same month makes sense to be crossing over into the same month um like my plan for the December promos which will be broken before use and welcome to Mary's Bell again um they're not going to be the same <laughs> week <laughs> they are going to be on two separate weeks um, but that's why it makes more sense to then have uh, No Doors Allowed released before the end of December, but not actually have its promo weekend until uh, January sales, uh, beginning of January, just because it just, it just makes more sense uh, not to have like three books uh, having promos during December um, and then having one having a promo in January, it makes more sense to sort of, no, let's, let's release uh, No Doors Allowed, let's try to sort of, you know, generate a little bit of interest in it and then have uh, 
and then have the uh, promo. But yeah, no, that's that's uh, the sort of the plan going forward with that. And next week, I will probably show you guys. Like, I'll probably have something to show you guys for what the plan is for the rest of the <laughs> for the rest of the year in terms of promos. Um, I've already. I mean, if, if you're interested, I do actually already have a posted tweet. It is my pinned tweet on my profile, um, which has the the week schedules. Um, for the promos for the rest of the year so if you are interested that's where you can find that information um and i may or may not add it to, to somewhere on to here at some point um it all depends on how lazy i'm feeling in terms of creating an actual official <laughs> an official thing in yeah yeah <laughs> it's a bit like that um okay so the other big thing that has happened this month is I've gone back to work after four and a half months off. I am back at the day job. Um, and I've, I've spoken about this last last couple of weeks, so like how I'm feeling about it now, I'm, it, it's, not, it's not changed that much. Um, on the one hand, I'm really loving being back. I'm really, I, I feel like I've never left. Um, it's been it's been interesting it's you know there's a lot of stuff that you've, we've got to adapt to and there's a lot of changes that we've got to accommodate for but you know for the most part being back at work is is exactly as it should be it's you know being back at work it's you know reminding me of all the reasons why I do enjoy my day job even when it's hot and stressful and tiring at all um but on the other hand, I have had that taste of living as a full-time writer now. I do have a really good plan for, you know, how I'm going to, to make that lifestyle work. I just need to be earning the money from it. So, yeah, it's 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 very mixed feelings about being back at work. I, I love being back at work, but I know that I'm going to love being a full-time writer more. <laughs> so I'm very much in that sort of frame of mind of okay I adore what I'm doing it's good it's fun it's you know uh it suits me and my lifestyle right now but if I can make my dream job happen at just that little bit sooner then I'm not going to argue with that uh I, it's made me more determined it's it's not made me hate my job more it's not made me hate the day job more. I still love the day job just as much as I ever did. I just want to be a full-time writer more. And, uh, yeah, I, I think, you know, if I'd managed to... to I mean, I, 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 it's, it's a thing. I'm still having a really good year. I'm still selling books every single month. I'm still getting um, page reads every single month. Okay, I'm not turning a profit at this point. Um, I'm not making a whole lot of money at this point. Um, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not, you know, getting a whole lot of royalties at this point. It's probably what I should be saying. I'm, I'm definitely not turning a profit at this point. Um, but it's it's still a hugely, a hugely improved position from where I was this time last year when um, I don't even know when I sold my last book. Um, whereas, you know, I... I know when I sold my last book, I know how many copies of, of all of my books are out there because I, I've got I access to that information, I can find that information, um, I can roughly work out how many extra copies have been done via page reads as well um, and, and stuff like that. So it's, yeah, it's one of those situations where on the one hand, I very, very, very much know <laughs> exactly how well things are going and how much things have improved from last year and things are constantly improving and getting better and I, I feel like I'm moving towards where I want to be, but the progress is, is slow, it's, you know, I, I could do with having more reviews, um, I could do with having more consistent sales. I mean, even if it was just like one sale every other day, that would still be more consistent than I get at the moment. Um, you know, it, it's it's very sporadic at the moment. There's, there's no predicting at the moment. Um, 
Yeah, fingers crossed next weekend uh, the <laughs> the Colours I See free book promo will be the most successful because um, the first one was really success was more successful than the second one and I'm hoping that the third one um, that I've done enough uh, in, 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 in the last couple of weeks of, of promoting that so that will be maybe slightly more successful again um, it, it outclasses the other books just in general anyway I would like it to at least match <laughs> what Broken Before You did in its first promo um but yeah it's it's that's that's very much how that that's a very good way of sort of summing up my my august um and my sort of future plans from here really isn't it um that i am more determined than ever to become a writer but i don't hate being back at my day job i just wish i had more time to pursue the writing so i could get to where i want to be a bit faster that's that's basically been that's basically been my my August where it's you know I don't hate the situation that I'm in I just know so much more where I want to be now and it's just a matter of, of figuring out how to get there that's all it is all right okay so I'm gonna leave this one here um I know it's a short one again but um hungry and it's lunchtime <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie it's lunchtime and i'm hungry and i want to go eat um so yeah no, no it's a short one again but yeah i have good reason for it being a short one again um so i hope you guys have found this roundup of august at least a little bit more interesting than some of my other roundups since you know it's I, i've done stuff i mean i'm hoping my videos now that they're not quite so writing focused because have other things going on again <laughs> but you know my the, 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 i am it's more interesting in general i apologize in some of words i think i'm having a bit of a, a, a bit of a fog <laughs> um but yeah so yeah i hope you guys found this one interesting i hope you're looking forward to the next one and i will see you next time see ya <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, feel free to check out some of my others, and if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. See ya!